Hey y'all, it's Brian. You know, hometowns are a very important part of who we are. Think about it. It's one of the first questions somebody asks you. Where are you from? Well, for me, it's a small dot on a map called Oracle, Arizona. My hometown holds a very special place in my heart, as I'm sure is true with a lot of y'all. And today I'd like to discuss a few of those things. Most of the information that we're going to cover comes from the Oracle Historical Society, visitoracle.org, the U.S. Census Bureau, and the Arizona Foothills Magazine. So starting off with the history of Oracle. The Hohokam people were one of the first peoples to settle the area thousands of years ago. They migrated from central Arizona to farm the San Pedro Valley. And during the summer, they would set up camp in the hills uh, in the Oracle area. Moving forward, Spanish came through in the 17th and 18th century, and then sometime in the 1800s, there was a stagecoach stop, stage stop established there. Uh, after that, there was a lot of mines and mining claims uh, with, pro with prospectors coming through the area, looking for gold, silver, uh, and a lot of copper. Um, then in the early 1900s, the, the area became very very famous for tuberculosis wards uh, since it's a dry clean air climate uh, became very it was internationally renowned a little tiny town then after that mining died down and 1940s uh, it picked up again uh, with the establishment of the tiger mine and smelter uh, in mammoth and salmon well respectively That formed the what, what I grew up calling the tri-community area. Uh, recently, though, after the mine shut down in 1999, uh, it's become a uh, a bedroom community or a commuter town. You know, people just live there and then commute to other other areas for work. So, moving on, let's discuss the people of Oracle. They are hardworking, blue-collar sort of people. According to the U.S. Census Bureau in 2010, 29% worked in the construction industry. And what I thought was surprising was 20% worked in education and healthcare fields. Uh, and I know before 1999, I mentioned the mine closure. Before that, a lot of them worked for the mining company itself. Also, what I thought was interesting, uh, according to the Census Bureau, was 26% are self-employed. It's pretty impressive. Moving on, let's discuss the town of Oracle and the surrounding area. So Oracle sits in a transitional area between high desert and mountainous foothills. Mount Lemmon is the highest peak in what's called Santa Catalina Mountains. Sits at not, a little bit over 9,000 feet, uh, 9,157 9, to be exact. Uh, it's also the southernmost ski destination in the continental United States. Kind of interesting. Uh, in the foothills, there's a place called Pepper Sauce Canyon, and it was, it still is one of my favorite places to visit back home. It's covered in large mature oak trees that give you plenty of shade during the summer. There's a small creek that runs through it. It's it's a it's a beautiful destination to go to just to get away, relax. Uh, there's also many hiking and off-road trails uh, in the surrounding area. You can explore to your heart's content. Just be careful because it is pretty pretty rough out there sometimes. Uh, in the town, there are a few family-owned restaurants that will give you a personalized and friendly experience, as well as some delicious food. My favorite is Casa Rivera. Best Mexican food this side of the border. I haven't been able to find a replacement. Uh, 
So in conclusion, we talked about the history of Oracle, the people of Oracle, and the town and the area surrounding it. If you find yourself in the Tucson area, please go visit Oracle. It'll be worth the visit.